This weekend on Kern County In-Depth, an update on the drastic groundwater pumping restrictions on the horizon for growers here in the Valley. Several weeks ago, the leader of the largest groundwater sustainability agency called out other GSA leaders over the fuzzy math they were using to develop their water budgets. Dennis Mullins very um, fearlessly told people, hey, this is, the, the, you have obviously made up water with your paperwork. The state is not going to stand for these phony numbers. I think he also said we might as well just, if you're going to keep these numbers, we might as well just hand the keys to our wells to the state and walk away right now. And so, so the yeah. offshoot of that was everybody got real and refigured the right. numbers and came back with instead 90,000 uh, 90, acre foot deficit. A 300,000 right. acre. Which is, the state had done some modeling. Lois Henry, CEO and editor of SJVWater.org, and Steve Tellia, COO of the Kern Delta Water District, join me to talk about ongoing efforts to comply with the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act of 2014, which will bring unprecedented changes to California's ag industry. Also, Curtis Creel, general manager of the Kern County Water Agency, talks with me about his impending retirement. Kern County in depth, 6 p.m. this Saturday here on TV 17. And we rebroadcast our program every Sunday morning on the CW Channel 12. For past installments of Kern County In Depth, just go to our website, kget.com, and click on the KSID webpage to watch them there.